I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on domain of functions. I've taken up some questions which could be difficult for some students. Now the question here is find domain of function of both x and y which is written as square root of x plus y minus 1 divided by x minus 1. Now clearly this is a multivariable question uh, which may be out of course for most students. However, when you look at it in more details, you will find that it could be solved like a single variable problem, correct? So don't get scared, let's try to figure out what is the domain of this particular function. You can actually pause the video, try to solve it and then look into my suggestions. Now we are saying that the function f of x and y, it means it is function of both the variables, right? Now, even when we write down y equals to mx plus b, it is two variables, perfect? Think in the same fashion, so, so that should not be difficult now, right? So we have square root of x plus y minus 1 in the numerator, and the denominator is x minus 1. Now domain means all the values which x and y both can take, right? So clearly, denominator cannot be 0, so we get one restriction here that x is not equal to 1. So that is one restriction. So that becomes a part of our restriction on the domain of the function. Now how do we figure out other restrictions? The other restriction could be because of the square root part, right? So, so we know that the value of x plus y minus 1 should always be greater than or equal to 0. That is the second restriction. Because within square root, we cannot have negative numbers. Now this equation can be solved like a linear equation. We can isolate y now, right? So we can say y should be greater than or equal to minus x plus 1. So now, once we write this as an inequality, we can clearly see that the value of y should be greater than minus x plus 1. That means it is a straight line. So let us try to understand the situation, sketch it on, on a graph, right? So let's x, y plane. So here, uh, let's say that is x axis, this is y axis. One of the restriction is that it cannot have the value of x is 1. So let's say this is 1 for us. So I'm just drawing a red line here saying that those are not permitted at all, right? So so this is what we are saying x is equal to 1. So that is not permitted. So now let us try to sketch the line which is y greater than or equal to minus x plus 1. So plus 1 means that becomes your y intercept. Minus means slope of slope of minus 1, correct, minus x. So it will go through this point. Right? So we could draw a line here, which is kind of like this. So okay. so that becomes our line, where clearly we cannot have this point. So I'm drawing a hole here. Now when I say that y is greater than equal to this value, that means we are looking into all the values on the upper side of this particular line where the value of x is not equal to 1, correct? So that becomes the domain which is shown in this particular diagram. Does it make sense to you? So that is how we can find the domain of this particular function. So our answer here is that the domain is, so, so we have that the value of x is not equal to 1 and y is greater than or equal to minus x plus 1. Okay? So that is how we are going to answer. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.